how ancient civilization has been found in different countries and different areas like the Aztec and in this episode we are going to be talking about Nok civilization. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nok View podcast. In case you don't know, Nok View's podcast is simply about history and culture podcast will be uploaded every tuesday you can find us on spotify you can find us on audio mark you can find us on apple music you can also find us on google podcast on apple podcast on different podcasts and i have the podcast also on youtube so if you are looking for the visuals you can check on youtube um, so guys let's talk about an ancient civilization in nigeria that is really recognize this is the Nox civilization so just like how we have the aztecs in mexico and the incas of peru we also have the Nox of nigeria and this simple sentence just simply show that we have different civilization asian civilization in different countries and you know they have been found out by archaeology and by archaeologists and historians so our focus today on not the podcast is the knock civilization the knock civilization has been labeled as an ancient city because of it is old and have only artifacts and ruins left which has been studied mostly by archaeologists and historians okay so the knock culture is a culture which provides evidence of the earliest ancient civilization in nigeria in case you don't know where nigeria is nigeria is in africa west africa region to be precise and it is recognized as one of the biggest country in africa if not the biggest so according to recorded documents there were some archaeological findings at a small village known as nok near kafanchan in the southern area of kaduna it has been said that the first knock activate was discovered in 1928 by Colonel Den Young, which is a co-owner of a mining partnership. But it was mainly stubborn upon by tin miners who were using water to remove tin ore from the soil. What they saw during the process is what we call the terracotta, which is the burnt clay. Okay, so it was in form of a uh, monkey's head like the head of a monkey um so this burnt key was in form of a monkey and it was accidentally unentered you know it was found at a level of 24 feet from an alluvial tin mine in other words tin miners were just excavating you know looking for tin and they came across an artifact and this artifact was burnt clay and the clay and the head of a monkey so with that being discovered you know it brought about a certain form of awareness that there was probably civilization in that area so years later you know they began discovering terracotta in other places these places were wemba we had Jema, we had Kastinaala. so terracotta was found in these areas and so um these areas where the terracotta was found, the terracotta figurines were found, is what is called the Nok culture area. The civilization has been seen as transitional culture between the Stone Age and the Iron Age in Nigeria because of the presence of a combination of stone and iron objects. But however, Taruga, when the first terracotta figurine were found, was a fully iron center because no stone tools were found there. So, radiocarbonation is one of the tools that archaeologists have used to carry out excavation in um, Nok civilization, which has shown the Nok culture that existed between the 5th to the 2nd century BC, and it is said to belong to the people who had a lot of things in common, including a well organized economy. The Nok culture is definitely significant in Nigerian history because it has showed that there was civilization in Nigeria before the coming of Europe and this civilization was organized and the people made iron tools and weapons. So apart from the iron smelting furnace and the terracotta sculptures of animals and human figurines found in the area, they are smelted things because tin beads were found in some of the sites. Some of the people were also known to make poetry. 
to wrap this podcast up the knock hat has been described as geometric and rigid and some areas in the knock area still show practices seen in the active as such as in java it has been said that people still use the eggs that was found on the knock terracotta head it makes me want to visit the knock area in the present day nigeria which we have Jeba located. So guys, this podcast has explained to you the presence of the Nok civilization culture in Nigeria. 